scenario, what would you do? Two guys come at you with knives, two with guns, and three with spears. With the knives standing, two coming at you with the guns on the furthest and the spears in between. So it's knives, spears, guns. Here's what double would do. First move, you deflect both bullets back at the shooters. Ideally, not their own bullets, but separate. Because it's like a shwing, you know, like, so, okay, so first move, you're like, I can't be stopped. <clears throat> and yes, I'm seemingly unarmed. But then what you have is you have like the curved kind of like things, the, the two double swords tucked, tucked away so you can do like one of those. So like when the guy's about to do this, like you see like the fucking muscles on his fingers start to flex, then you go into your thing because you only have so much, you know, physical time. You gotta calculate the uh, reflexes. Okay, so then you chop the bullets, boom, they're dead. Now what? Oh, uh, five guys still coming at you. It's not like you're done, okay? So first move is nice. Nice one of those, okay? Real fast. How, how do you do it? So you're gonna just swing. All right, you ready? Swing. They're like, whoa, where'd he go? Then you kick one of them back out the window. Okay, so now it's one v four. Two spears, two knives. Okay, so what you want to do is kind of get get some of this going. So they're in your way, and then you want to boom. Do one of those. That's where you have the two spear guys coming at you and you slip out of the way. And then you fucking stab them both in the neck. And then, all that's left is killing the two guys with knives. And how do you do that? At this point, you're pretty winded like I am. Because you're really out of shape. But, this never stopped me and it won't stop you. So, you get back on your roll stance, because you've just stabbed two guys like this. So now the knife goes like, ooh, we're trying to come out. So then you do one of these, and then some of this. So now they're kind of like, they've got an upward stance. Now the move is this, pay attention. Yeah. All right, let's break that down. What you want to do, Gather your chi from your core. Think about the spinal fluids. Then do one of these. Quick. And then, so that killed one of them. Now it's you versus the other one. What's left? Bro, we can't fight like this. I've already killed all your men, but I can't kill anymore. And he's like, oh, the perfect time to strike. Not quite. Take the knife, boom! You willingly get stabbed, and then you just sort of look at him like, game over. Grab that hand like there, so his knife's, his hand in there, he's like, oh, what do I do? And whoo 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 Few solid headbutts. Lay him on the ground, take that knife out, and then just, just, You know what to do. Oh, one of those. But if you ever think that your kung fu skills alone will keep you safe, you're dead wrong. You need a little something called moxie. <laughs>